Hey guys, Spartan117GW, and today we're going to be talking about my loadout from American Milsim Iron Horse 2. Now I have my ERG, this is my CQB uh, variant setup, although it does have an ACOG, because you're going to want to identify targets at range. I have my enhanced polymer stock, which is fantastic, uh, in conjunction with the rear wired kit, because this was an older ERG. I had like three, sometimes, um, you know, you could theoretically fit four batteries in here, but for the ERG, three was about right. Um, you also have the other enhanced polymer furniture on here. You have the grip, the vertical foregrip, the Centurion Arms C uh, CMR rail on here, which is fantastic. And of course, the bread and butter of PTS products, the enhanced polymer magazine. There's really no other way to go when it comes to capacity, durability, and functionality. The EPM is the go-to, and it does have a really cool base plate that will absorb shock in case you do happen to drop it. Although for me, I always do tack reloads and I always top myself off, so I generally don't even run a dump pouch anymore. Now, the accessories on here are fantastic, especially when it comes to the m 4 sd 2 uh, Gen 2 suppressor. It's a huge improvement visually over the previous generation. And of course, my favorite new thing that I've added to the rifle is the new Griffin Armament Iron Sights from PTS. Now, these things, the detent on this is like serious. Like, it's so fantastic. Like, there's, I don't think I've messed with another backup iron sight for airsoft that functions as well. It also comes with a 45 degree offset too in the package so you can have one set of sights for magnified or uh, for a CQB uh, rifle setup essentially. Also have my LBX Armatus Gen 2. This is the same one that you guys saw at SHOT Show with the G-Code prototype panels. I can't wait for those panels to come out because you guys are going to love it. It's really the way to run the Armatus now, I'm not going to lie. Now the Amtec Flux I've been running for a while but for this op, uh, op they let me run the Multicam Tropic one that you saw at SHOT Show. It's fantastic. I love the color on here. They did a whole custom job on this, so it wasn't like factory made. They did all the custom work uh, to get the colors just right. It looks fantastic. Now, if you guys are going to go to an AMS op next year, make sure to check out American Milsim Iron Horse. It's a great op. And I just want to say, if you guys are looking for my patches, I finally got them in stock. They're on my website. Check out link in the video at the very end. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video.